Hello guys, today I'm actual, this stool is so dangerous, I always fall on it. So this skirt is so... Ow! Today I'm actually leaving my house and I'm going to a party, which I'm really excited about because I don't go to parties often, especially tonight. Like we're going to this really cool place called Highlight Room, which back in the day when I did party, that was my sh Um, But now that I'm a born again, like stay at home housewife i don't go out anymore but highlight room is still one of my faves anyways it's a holiday party there tonight so um yeah i got a facial today which is why i have red bumps everywhere but it's because of extractions um i have a package downstairs i have been waiting for this i got skims I literally got skims. I've been wanting them for so long. And Kylie Cosmetics left me on red, but skims gave me product. So I can't believe Kim Kardashian herself did this for me. Kim, you're so kind. They're downstairs, so I'm gonna go grab them. Hopefully they like do wonders for my body under my clothes tonight. And got it. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, so first I got solution wear, like the, the one-legged one. I got the boob tape, which I'm so excited for. Oh, I guess it's called body tape, but I'm really excited for this. What the hell? I guess this is a garment holder. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, this is like high-waisted shorts. And then I got some bras. This one I saw on the website and I thought would be really comfortable just because it's so chill for like under a shirt. I got a nude. I mean, let's see if tonight I wear any of this stuff. I think I probably will just because I'm excited about it. So now I'm just going to glam with you guys. I have a car service coming. Car is going to be down here at 7 and it is 5. So that's as much time as I have to get ready. I'm going to do a cute holiday look. I've been getting so good at makeup thanks to my makeup lessons. So I recommend you have a notepad out and you come very ready to learn and take instructions and do this look step by step because homegirl has been getting good. And now I'm like confident in my abilities. I love how Henny's just in here to himself. <laughs> Sometimes he wants to just chill with me. And if that's not goals, I don't know what is. I got a facial today at Dermalogica in Santa Monica and that was amazing. I am so obsessed with Dermalogica as a brand and their facial today did not let me down. Like it's just what I expected from a Dermalogica facial. They did the light thing which was for anti-aging and then we did something after that was um microcurrents or something and i literally felt my skin tightening like she would go around and i felt it like <laughs> basically that took out swelling and what else and like water i don't even feel like myself if i'm doing a get ready with me I'm not in a silk top you know this is how i feel like myself in a silk little moment <clears throat> okay so i've been learning a lot during these makeup lessons and I've totally mastered this eyeshadow technique and look and whatever. So coming from somebody who had very elementary makeup skills, now every time I do my eyeshadow, I kind of thrive. So I'm pretty proud of myself. So I'm gonna start off with my MAC Painterly Pro Longwear Paint Pot. And this is so amazing. I am obsessed with this product. It really just lays your eyeshadow down, helps everything blend on top seamlessly, and your eyeshadow really won't move. I'm gonna use this palette today, the 39L Hit the Lights palette. I don't think I've ever used it, but there's some fun colors in there that I think could be cool for this look. Like, I'm thinking we could do this. Maybe we can really pop it out with like a silver or a gold. It's holiday, right? Like I should have some fun with the makeup. Anyways, so I'm going to go in with this brush and I'm going to lay down my transition shade right over the painterly. And I'm just going to use this color. Always use a neutral. And by the way, this like technique that I'm teaching you for eyeshadow is great if you're more on the beginner level and you want something that is simple and easy to just slay every time and it also works with any type of color you use um, just as long as you keep every single shade matte until the end okay so now that the translucent transition fuck me i'm like doing makeup lessons but i'm not a makeup artist yet 
Okay, so now that the transition shade is laid, I'm gonna go back in with the same painterly and a brush like this, just like a flat brush. And I'm going to carve out my lid and I'm gonna go from here and then just trace my natural lid and go about halfway. Now using this brush, which is the R33 from Morphe, which by the way, guys, you can use code Lauren uh, at checkout at Morphe to save 10%. So I'm gonna use this brush to go in and pat in the dark. So because it's holiday, I'm thinking I'm gonna mix like this burgundy color, which it looks super festive to me, maybe a bit of this one and some brown for my dark. So now I'm gonna do a method that some people don't really agree with, but I like to set, put setting spray on my brush and then dip it into the color and that just helps me lay everything down. Some people say that it ruins the formula of the eyeshadow, which is probably true. Okay, now I'm gonna do my wing and I'm finally, guys, getting good at winged liner. It took me a while, but here we go. And this is a long brush uh, eyeliner. I recommend getting one like these because it makes it much more flexible and easy to do like a long stroke. This one's from Morphe. And now I'm gonna go in and just do the long stroke and connect it. And by the way, all this fallout is nothing to worry about. Okay, now I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows and I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty brow pencil. I like this one, but I mean, you can use literally whatever brow pencil. I'm gonna start by lining the brows from underneath. And now I'm gonna go from over top and line them from there. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with that same brush and the same painterly paint pot and I'm going to clean up underneath my brows and that's gonna make the look look so good and we're almost done with the eyes so I'm just gonna like clean it up and move on and yeah okay so the look is like coming together now my favorite part I get to finally clean this shit off and see the progress okay okay so now I'm gonna take the same little brush and I'm just gonna draw around my eyebrows so the foundation doesn't mess it up and I'm gonna use my Too Faced Born This Way foundation I just love this foundation and I'm almost out so you guys know from my Instagram that I have been doing personal training. I've been doing it for about a month now and I'm finally seeing results. Honestly, at first, it was a little bit difficult to stay motivated because it's like, oh my God, I'm, I'm not the strongest person, you know, and we do lots of weight training. So it's it's really intense and it's just a lot like it takes a lot out of me like sometimes i feel like i'm gonna throw up when i'm in there and sometimes i just leave winded and i'm just like not strong and it's a lot of carrying weight so it was difficult to get that you know ambition to like want to go but now that i'm seeing results i'm like texting my trainer like yo can i come in can i come in like I'm, i want to come in because it is so nice like i was looking in the mirror today and i saw like abs and I saw some abs yesterday I was like no way on me this is not even real we also measured my butt and my butt has grown which is incredible the weird thing is when I started I weighed less than I do now but I mean I'm gaining muscle so it's just interesting to like go work out a bunch and then step on the scale and see a higher number it's kind of like but I thought but I thought I was training. But you just have to like trust the process and you know, understand that you are just like growing muscle, which I am because my body looks good right now. Like seriously. I like to put concealer on my marionette lines, which are this and this, just to kind of bring them forward. Crazy how much my face is glowing after this facial, guys. Like, wow, now that the foundation's on and I covered like all the red spots from the extractions, I can really see just like the general health of the skin. And it is really glowing after that facial, wow. I should try to make it a point to get facials more often. I mean, come on. This looks wonderful. Facials are literally the most relaxing thing. Like you just lay there, 
things happen, things get put on you. I love that they like go down to your chest. You just feel, oh, you feel so magical during a facial, except for the extractions part, because honestly, I just kept like trying to breathe. I was like, like it's fine, like just like relax. The music is relaxing or whatever, but I mean, you are getting your pimples popped. But wow, this after facial skin is so wonderful. This is random, but I get a lot of questions about what camera I use. And if you are trying to start out vlogging, like if you're a new vlogger or you wanna like give it a go, which by the way, I highly recommend if you're interested, like, oh, what would happen if I started a YouTube channel? Just try it out because you don't know until you try. So I would try it out. Um, if you are gonna try it out, I recommend getting the camera that I started out with. It's a little bit less expensive than the one I use now and it was great. I used it for so many of my initial videos, videos that have a lot, a lot of views and they were filmed on a non-expensive camera. It's the Canon G-Shot, PowerShot? Is it the G-Shot or the PowerShot? The G-Shot, I'm pretty sure it's called the PowerShot. <laughs> the G-Shot, it's the Canon G-Shot Mark II. That's the one I used at the beginning of the year. I don't know if they have like a Mark III now or whatever, whatever the most recent model of that is. Um, I really recommend it. The only thing about that one is the audio is not that good and there's no way for you to plug in like a detached, an external mic. The camera that I use now, which you'll see in the reflection once I try on the outfits for tonight and pick what I'm gonna wear, which by the way, oh my God, I don't even know what I'm gonna wear. Oh my God, I just realized that. I have no idea what I'm gonna wear tonight. Um, anyways, when we do that, you'll see it in the mirror, what camera I use now. But right now I use the, what brand is this? I use the Canon M50 now, and I have this mic that I plug into it, which you'll see. Okay, I'm gonna put on my lashes, and I will see you in a second when I look like a completely different person. So, I just got a text that my driver is here, which is really fun, because I have no idea what I'm wearing, and my hair's not done. But, what I will say is I was looking at this glam, and I killed it! I truly did, and this is without lips. Very proud of myself tonight. Let me just tell you though, I'm stressed. This is heat protection. I'm putting it in my hair. I've started to finally get used to using this because for the grand majority of my life, I was just raw dogging it and killing my hair. And now I'm giving my hair the TLC that it really deserves. All right, let's put this extension in. Woo! Can you grab it? So I got these extension guys for a brand deal and I had them send them to me before I agreed to like post about it because I was a little suspect because you never know with extensions like it could always be like quality but these I am so obsessed look at this look at them go they didn't even pay me for a YouTube engine but I just love them um, it's called hand crown if you're interested but uh, truly, this rocks. And he helps me put them in. These at this length that just help with the overall volume. It doesn't make my hair look any longer, but it makes a big difference. So basically, it's like extensions on a wire and your hair like holds it down. So yeah, that's basically the hair thing. I think it's really cool. I don't know how secure I got it on tonight, but we will find out. Um, okay, so for the lips tonight, I'm gonna do my signature combo at least. It's been my signature for a little bit and people always compliment it on my comments. So I'm assuming you guys like it. Well, actually I know you guys like it because when you don't like something, you're quick to call it out, which I appreciate. So I'm gonna go in with my Head of Beauty lip pencil in the, in the shade Flirt and I'm gonna go over it with the ColourPop Just a Tint lip crayon in the shade. I can never find this shade, I don't know. Looks pink to me. And to finish it off, I'm gonna use my Cosmetics lip gloss. This lip gloss is a little bit more on the expensive side, but if you're in the mood to ball out on a gloss that is worth your money, I highly recommend this one. Something about it, like the shimmer is just so unmatched. Okay, so the makeup is done. I'm so in love with how it turned out today. It just looks so good, I'm obsessed. So these are some of the pieces that the brand sent me. I haven't put them in away yet, so they're just kind of like everywhere. This top looks cool. These are the sleeves, and then it's just like a top like that, and I could do it with like a cool little bottom. So I'm considering this one. And then I have this dress, 
which also looks cute, right? Like it's just one little shoulder moment. Honestly, this might be it. I could try it with the skims. Okay, let me try on some skims then. And let me try this dress on. These are the, I don't know. They don't have like their name on it, but they have like a little wrinkle on the butt, which I'm assuming will help still make my butt look big, even though everything else is compressed. Cause that's what I'm most worried about is like, okay, well if I'm wearing like a spank situation on my butt, like, is it gonna make you look smaller? Oh my God. I mean, I got an extra small, but these are tight. Oh my God. Whew. Maybe I'm not an extra small. These definitely feel really tight. Woo! But I mean, I guess that's the point. Wow. Honestly, yeah, this looks great. It almost makes the dress look big because I'm so small underneath. Um, no, I'm kidding, but this looks great. I'm totally obsessed, wow. Okay, T, nice. Um, seriously though, the dress could be a drop smaller, but that's fine. This is the fit, guys. All right, now I just need to figure out like what shoe and how I'm gonna accessorize it. I kind of like this with no necklace. Maybe something like small like this is cute. Yeah, this is actually cute. And if you're gonna do the look, you might as well do the look. So I'm gonna wear these hoops and just really go for it. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope we like this look. Let's go pick the shoes. I'm into it. I feel cute. I do. Um, I totally trashed my room. I just noticed that upon my entry once again. These are my shoes that I'm wearing. I'm gonna go big tonight. I don't know why I'm in the mood to like go hard. It's because I don't go out. So like when I do, I like to really show out. And this is the aftermath of filming again. Ready with me. Oops. All right, guys. So this is the final look. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, yeah, I'm really obsessed with how the makeup turned out. I think it's perfect for the holidays. I love the hair. I love the outfit. I truly just love the whole thing. So I hope I go have fun. This is like the one time I'm probably going to leave my house for any sort of party for the entire holidays. So I might as well go hard or go home. All right. Peace. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Love you.